It was very important to my father to get new books right away as they came out. And so we would do this thing every week called library rounds where we would, in Montgomery County, Maryland, which was a great library system, we would drive to every single branch to the new arrivals so that he could sort of scoop them up before anybody else had a chance to get them. That weekly ritual became an important way of spending time with my dad. It helped commit me to becoming the devoted reader that I am. My father was a banker and he had a very analytical mind. But at the same time, he loved to read. He proofread all my books. And I think he really enjoyed doing that because he felt that he was doing something for me that nobody else could do. He just had this real ability to read language in a different way, in a very analytical way. So he knew my books very well because he read them actually literally backwards and forwards. My father was the most important person in my life. He was the one who said, you can do anything you want, anything your little heart desires. That gave me this kind of crazy confidence. My father was a police inspector in New York City Police Department. My father taught me to read when I was four years old and read all the classics to me. My dad would always read at least like two, three books at the same time. He would read while he was cooking, while he was doing everything. And we would start discussing books with each other at a really early age on my part, and he really fueled my love for books. My dad didn't do creative things for a living, but I think in his heart and soul, he was an artist. He's read everything that I've ever written, and he really gets it all. And I think he really likes the idea that I've done this for a career, even though at the beginning it didn't seem like it was a stable choice, but he's been unbelievably supportive, and if he hadn't been that kind of a person, I might not have felt the freedom to do what I did for a living.